Hey guys, for today's video I'm doing a tutorial on my go-to spring makeup look. I also wore this in my Makeup Geek haul and got a lot of requests to recreate it. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to be using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows today and the first one I'm going to be going with is called Creme Brulee and I'm just running this all throughout my crease. Next, I'm going to be mixing the colors Frappe and Latte, and I'm also going to be running these throughout my crease. I'm going to concentrate these colors more so in the crease than Creme Brulee, and this is just going to give my look a little bit more dimension. Going back in with the first blending brush with no additional product, and just blending around the edges just to make sure it looks seamless. Now for the main color, this color is called In the Spotlight and it is part of the foiled eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. This I can honestly say is my favorite eyeshadow ever. It is just the most gorgeous peach shade and if you had to just only pick one eyeshadow, definitely pick this one. Now I'm going to go in with Shimma Shimma and this is a popular Makeup Geek eyeshadow that I will be placing on my inner corners and as you can see it is super beautiful and super reflective. This just opens up the eyes and makes your eyes look a little bit bigger. Next I'm going to highlight my brow bone using this shade right here just called Vanilla Bean. I will have all the product names and links to all the products in the description box and also a link to the Makeup Geek website. You could totally just stop here and leave the eyeshadow as is, but I'm just going to take it one step further and use this color right here which is called Mocha. This is a matte brown shade. I'm just going to be placing this on the outer part of my eye. I'm not going in with a heavy hand, I'm just going to lightly place it out there and this is just going to add a little something extra to look. Now I'm just going in with a blending brush and blending around the edges just because I want this to be like a really soft, easy, and wearable look. So I'm just making sure everything is blended. Now I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner and I'm just lining my eyes. You can do your eyeliner however you would like, but in the video that I wore this look in, I had my eyeliner winged out, so that is what I'm going to be doing today. This look would also be really pretty if you didn't wing it out and just lined your eyes or if you just skipped it on liner in general and just did mascara. So it is honestly just up to you, but this is just how I got the look in that video. For my top lashes, I'm going to be using Maybelline's Pumped Up Colossal Mascara and I'll be doing two coats to make sure my eyelashes are super full and long. I'm going to go back in with the same color I used on my outer V and just place this on my lower lash line. I'm going to give my bottom lashes a good coat of L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara and I'm so awkward at putting mascara on my bottom lashes so we're not going to stay on this for too long. I'm going to bronze up my face using this unique beachfront bronzer in the color Sunset. It has a matte side and a shimmery side. I'm just mixing the two and just placing this all over my cheeks where the sun would naturally hit my face. I'm now going to go in and contour with Hula Bronzer from Benefit. This is my, I think, all-time favorite bronzer. And this one, compared to the Unique Bronzer, is more cool-toned, so I like this one better for contouring versus bronzing. And there is a difference, it's kind of confusing, but if you want me to do a video on how I contour, highlight, bronze, all that stuff, then just let me know in the comments.
for blush, I'm using Smitten from Makeup Geek, and this is a super beautiful orange blush that I think I'm going to get a ton of wear out of throughout the spring and summer because it is just such a beautiful color. This highlighter goes perfectly with this look. This is Laura Mercier's Peach Mosaic. I'm just going to be placing this on the high points of my face, including the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit on the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. I honestly don't remember what I was wearing on my lips when I made the Makeup Geek haul, so I'm just going in with NARS Turkish Delight. And I couldn't decide between these two lip glosses, honestly. So after I put this one on, it was a little too pink for me. So then I go in with Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in the color Nude. And I think it just suited it a little bit better. So I'm just mixing the two. You could just use one. Honestly, you can use whatever you want because pretty much any color will go with this look. <laughs> This is Caudalie's Eau de Butte, I think is how you say it, and it is a beauty elixir. I like spraying this after I finish my makeup sometimes. It's just really refreshing and just kind of gives sort of like a dewy look. This is the completed look. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Now if